Hey everybody, you're looking live on tape from a beautiful day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's the last day of the month of August. And the reason why I'm here today, the lack of people. I uh, woke up this morning, started looking at wait times on the app. Kept my eye on Animal Kingdom. One of the reasons why Animal Kingdom kind of slows down this time of year closes early closes at seven so a lot of folks don't feel like they get their money's worth or park off after two but i think it's the best time of year to come to animal kingdom i saw a flight of passage was 15 minutes safari was five so we're going to get on some attractions today folks thanks for joining me glad you did let's get to it Haven't seen the main promenade like this in a long time here in Animal Kingdom. I think they're getting ready to do the bird show. Michelle really hates the birds. <laughs> we'll cut the corner. We'll go in there and end up over there. We try to avoid the bird shows as much as possible, but as you see, crowd levels, very, very nice. All right, so first we're gonna hit River Journey. Cause I'm getting lost. Not even in the queue yet. I'm getting lost. Excuse me. 80 miles. Sorry, that's my wife. Just to give me an idea. Last two weeks ago, I think this was 65. So I got 15 minutes. If you've never ridden this attraction, it's kind of Pirates of the Caribbean slash Avatar mashup. Basically, dark water ride. Really cool effects. Kind of got banged on when it first came out, but I enjoy it. <clears throat> it's a pretty ride. Q's are really, really good uh, inside here. Wow, okay. Wow, have you ever seen this? <laughs> I have not. Steve. up the hill here now a flight of passage never river journey was a 15 minute quote it was about a five minutes pretty much a walk on um this has gone up to 20 minutes but 
I mean, we have not stopped walking. Talking to Michelle about the ride, Navi River Journey. Pandora is celebrating their fifth anniversary this year. And the ride is not held up to me. I haven't ridden that in probably about six or seven months. Maybe a year, I don't know, but <clears throat> after Rise of Resistance and seeing Galaxies that or uh Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind and some of the newer rides definitely did not age well. Still it's okay, but I wouldn't wait more than ten minutes for it, honestly. But now on to one of my favorite rides here on property that is Avatar, Flight of Passage. And we have not stopped walking yet. Like I said, posted 20 minutes, but we have not stopped. I'm imagining once we get in the first big collection room, we'll probably stop a little bit. And then on into the little sinking chamber. But this is pretty dang refreshing. The only problem is when it is like this, you don't see, <laughs> you don't have time to really catch a lot of details because you're just so excited just to walk right on to the ride. Jinxes, we're stopping right outside <clears throat> the main hangar area. But 20 minutes, flight pass. Back to Miles, one. In. I'm in the link chamber. Ten minutes total for me. Please enter all the way into the room and stand on the number you were given. All right, so after five years, that one holds up. That's all I can tell you. There's no comparison. Michelle and I are laughing about it. We were actually here opening month of Pandora five years ago, and it was a nobody knew what the rides did. You two really wasn't a big part of my life. I didn't really watch vlogs back then. Um, so we kind of flipped a coin and did Flight of Passage, thank God, with our Fast Pass choice. But ride still holds up. It's an amazing ride. It's probably, I think it is my favorite ride overall, maybe Splash Mountain. I go back and forth. But if you have the opportunity, especially if it's only a 20-minute wait like today, by all means, ride Flight of Passage. Gets me every time. You know, I've been reading online, like a lot of people think that the projectors are dull or, you know, but that was awesome. I did notice that the water effects, like when you went to the, you know, kind of surfed along the ways, sometimes the water's not that great. Maybe it's particular to the bike you're on, but that one, I, I mean, I was moist. I mean, it just kept hitting me. So either that or the guy, I don't know. Anyway, flight of pass, awesome. Next up, we're gonna hit, go hit the safari. We've been here about an hour. We've ridden uh, leisurely strolling around Pandora. Um, Shell's getting a Night Blossom now, uh, but I've hit both Pandora rides. Gonna, like I said, move over to Safari now. Ah, uh, five minutes for Kilimanjaro safaris. Don't mind if I do. And now for a musical interlude.
think that's gonna do it for today. Three attractions, about an hour. But most of that was just kind of meandering around. All three rides. Uh, Flight of Passage was about a eight minute wait, I'd say. Other two were walk on. So, probably one of the most common questions you see online is when is it not crowded at Disney? Today, not crowded. I would give this crowd level a two out of ten. I have seen it less than this during like COVID, right after COVID reopening and hurricane type situations, but pretty good day. I think we're going to head back to the house, kind of regroup. Might go out for some night ops to a park, so keep your eyes peeled. If you liked what you saw today, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you hated what you saw today, oh man, I can't really blame anything because it's such a perfect day here at AK. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hot. Blame it, on the, blame it on the heat. Thanks for joining me. As always, keep the parks clean.